Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Celeste. Oh, and the microphone's not even on. Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Celeste. If you're new here, welcome. We do lots of fun things here. We do hair, we do makeup, we chit chat, we do DIYs, whatever. Welcome. Glad to have you. If you're not new here, appreciate you. Thank you for hanging on, gang gang. So today I will be talking about why I started my YouTube channel in the first place. I feel like a lot of people, especially during quarantine, have decided that it is, why not? Why not start a YouTube channel? For me, however, uh, that's not necessarily the case. I actually was working through this quarantine up until a couple months ago. Um, I do still have a job. So before I just go toting that you should just quit your job and just do whatever, that's not what I'm preaching. I do still have an income, but I did quit my job. And one of the reasons I started was because I'm very shy. I'm very, I'm a mild mannered individual at times. I'm not used to putting myself out there in front of people, I'm usually in the background. That's where I'm most comfortable, is being in the back. I'm still a main character, make no mistake. However, I'm just like the shy main character in the back of the class kind of thing. So I feel like I notice the most growth out of myself when I step out of my comfort zone and do something that makes me uncomfortable, basically. I take myself out of my comfort zone often in order to improve myself and to do growth. I don't know if you believe in this, but I am a Scorpio and Scorpios are known to do that. I can't help it. It's just, it just is what it is. So for example, one of the things that I've done in order to take myself out of my comfort zone is I did a no mirror challenge where I basically did not look into a mirror or any reflection at all for an entire month because I have social anxiety and one of the things that really bothered me at the time especially was I felt like people were just looking at me no matter what I was doing. I felt like somebody was always looking at me and I always felt so self-conscious and so nervous and just nobody was looking at me. Like nobody cared to look at me like that if we're being honest. However, social anxiety, you can't you can't make sense of things sometimes. Like it just triggers you. You don't know why. But that was something that I felt like would help me because I can't look at myself. I can't be self-conscious about like looking in the mirror and picking apart like, oh, they're probably looking at me because of my acne. Or, oh no, my hair doesn't look good. Or I was doing that. And so I did the challenge in order to combat that. And it actually worked after a month. I actually didn't really care too much about like how I looked and if people were staring at me so much and things like that. And so that was one thing that I did to help myself. So little challenges like that, that's what I'll do. And for me, this is one of the ways to do that, to actually put myself out there and to be a part of YouTube. Why not? Another reason I started this channel was to spread knowledge to people because knowledge is power. I think we all love to learn and to grow in that aspect and so to spread knowledge whether it's natural hair knowledge like it doesn't have to be how to build a rocket ship type of knowledge but just like simple things like how to make shea butter i have a video about that fyi if you want to go check that out how to make a shea butter mix how to do this how to do that vegan recipes like spread knowledge spread real life everyday knowledge to help someone out there the third reason was to spread love and positivity as cliche as that might sound i feel like this world can be not so kind sometimes it's it's rough sometimes and i feel like i'm a very positive person and i like to spread positivity wherever i go and i do think that that helps people it helps me it helps other people I want to be a positive impact. I want to make a positive impact in this world. And I believe I can do that and reach a big audience through YouTube. So that's another reason I wanted to start this channel. Another thing is I want my channel to be a place to escape to. 
I know that when I get on YouTube, I want a place that I can just click on and escape. Whether it's for background noise, whether it's I'm actually like watching a video and I want to learn something or get something from it. That's what I want for my channel. I want you actually to have a mix of both. I want you to have something you can put up in the background and just go on about your day, but like have my little voice in the background, you know? But I also want you to get something from my channel as well. So that was also important to me when I decided to start this channel in the first place. I also wanted it to be a space for like-minded individuals like myself and what I mean by that is I want I want my channel to basically be like a safe place for like-minded individuals. There's no judgment. I'm probably catering to people with natural hair. I'm probably catering to people who are black, let's be honest. Uh, like I want to cater to like-minded individuals because I'm not for everyone. And I know that and I'm okay with that. So that's another reason. And the last reason is basically this channel was started for myself, obviously, in that I wanted to have growth and whatnot, but also it was for friends and family because when I'm spreading knowledge, I'm not just talking just to talk. I am talking also to my family members who watch this, who make up the bulk of my subscribers right now with only, you know, we're getting, we're getting there though. I'm not gonna say the number, but we're doing it. And I just wanted to spread that to my friends and my family and hopefully one day reach millions of people with the love, the positivity, the knowledge, all of that fun stuff. And I'm excited to grow and do this process. And I hope that you guys enjoy this process as well. There was a question of like, so what's the end game? Like, so what? When you make it to like a million subscribers, are you just gonna burn out and quit in like two years? Are you just looking for fame? Are you looking for money? None, I'm not, I'm really not. Um, sure, money would be nice, but I don't feel like there is an end game because there's no end game to knowledge and there's no end game to being positive. So if I can spread that for as long as possible, then that's exactly what I plan to do. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more amazing videos like this one. Click the notification bell and leave a comment. Let's, let's converse in the comment section. And with that, I will see you guys later. And yeah, have a good day, y'all. Bye.